no one is buying my favorite set of Callaway golf clubs. But why is that? Today I am playing with my favorite model of Callaway iron. Actually my favorite iron of that two year period that I was last club fitting up brand new equipment. And any club fitter that says they don't have a personal iron or wood favorite every couple of years is flat out lying. And this iron really came into its own in 2016, even though it had stiff competition, big competition. Golf industry changing standard competition of the P790 that first launched in 2016. And arguably has changed the way irons have looked ever since. With tailor-made doubling down, bringing out every shape, size and model of the P790 that's slimmer or less offset. And every other manufacturer essentially trying to create their own version of the P790. As we have all come to realise, golf is very much a beauty contest. But this second generation Callaway iron that I love fitting for, and when I say it's my favorite, essentially the vast majority of golfers, whether they're high ball speed, low ball speed, decent players, don't get me wrong, like mid handicapper and below potentially, just got on with it, just produced good numbers, which as a club fitter, it's pretty much all you want. So I'm gonna show you the prices that this club is currently going for, and even the newer models of it as well, because there's a model online potentially a lot of you guys should be looking out for when it comes to eBay auctions or secondhand golf clubs because it hasn't got anywhere near the same kind of hype or attention or overall interest as the P790. So I only have the one club of this particular model with me today and that's why you're seeing some interesting shots out on the golf course as well as short game manipulation or lack of I should probably say. But before we get into why I think this iron struggles in the secondhand market and why you guys should heavily take advantage as it's one of the most reliable and versatile irons hence why I've only got one iron out here with me today but it's powerful off the tee but it's still got a slim enough head design that you can work the ball here there everywhere but very similar to how Titleist got into a bit of a rut of their iron models looking the same year after year. I feel like this one has fallen into the same category. And we'll look at the end of the video. One thing that Callaway does different to every other manufacturer, which basically puts these irons at rock bottom prices. And one of the fascinating things I found whilst doing research on this video is that Callaway themselves didn't come up with this name. One of the most famous and influential golfers of all time did, Ben Hogan. And Callaway bought the Hogan brand back in 2003 for 170 million dollars, there or thereabouts, and then sold it again in 2012 to Perry Ellis on one condition. They get to keep two names, one edge, the other apex. I am of course talking about Callaway's Edge Costco set, no I'm not. Callaway Apex Range was the name that they took from the Hogan lineup and implemented into their new model of irons, which in 2016, the second generation, was extremely good and still is extremely good, but I feel like they fell into the trap with the Apex lineup. But you had a good few years of these models being released, especially the 2016 and 2019 model, looking exactly the same. Then people like you and me have an extremely good opportunity opportunity of picking up a fantastic deal where the performance is all there but the price very much isn't and i've even got a callaway xr iron which would have come out similar time as well to the apex so they're basically side by side but again you can even see the difference in offset compared to the apex to the xr you can see that kink at the hosel there as well as the salt i mean it's chunky it's forgiving this is designed for maximum forgiveness this is more for your mid handicap player and as i said at the start of this video my favorite iron to fit for the shaft options the head options with the apex pro as well which in my eyes was pretty much unmatched because the p790 even though aesthetically looked potentially sleeker than this and nowadays you can have a combo set with the p790s and the p770s to give you more of that control at the bottom like down here and then obviously forgiveness at the top but back then it's basically one gear with the p790 maximum everything and not necessarily as much control. So to get out of the five year rule, we're gonna only go back three years. We're gonna use the same Apex range and P790 range and just compare some of the prices because essentially this iron is designed for the same person in terms of loft, head design, you name it. Quick search in the sold listings. And again, this iron has transformed 
tailor-made in terms of its revenue over the last five years and it is an exceptional iron i'm not putting it down any which way but in terms of price i'd say it's properly priced for the demand and the aesthetics 670 525 five to pitch and wedge so we're still talking 80 pounds a club here 390 just for four irons there 586 749 for to pitch and wedge golf clubs for cash as a 2019 set they're holding their price incredibly well let's look across the board when it comes to the apex irons as they can get a bit muddled not many people know the 2014 version even came out actually they're more expensive than the 2016 one that i'm going to be recommending to you guys but again the 2019 version the one that came out same year as the p790 2019 version 327 and that's from golf clubs cash that's going to be more premium than uh, a lot of the auction side you're going to see as we go down the list again cf19 325 and i'm not saying go for the 19 version by all means go for it if you want to i mean this here is an absolute steal but you can see there's hardly any difference between the 19 version and the 2016 version and i'm all for don't fix it if it ain't broke but again as we go down the list here this is more in the realm of what i was talking about earlier you can see the prices that the Apex range is going for, especially at some of these auctions, especially the ones that aren't necessarily listed the correct way, aren't necessarily got the best photos, the best lighting, you name it. And we're starting to see these irons, which personally are some of my favorite irons. Here they are. Here are the irons that I loved fitting for. Project X 6.5. These are absolute monsters. And they went for 200 pounds, four to pitch and wedge almost half of what a P790 from the same year would be going for. The big difference between Callaway and all the other manufacturers is that they sell a lot of their own pre-owned equipment certified from the manufacturer and their ratings of condition are very high in terms of standard. What they say is average is virtually good. Like you'll always be on eBay and they'll be like, seven out of 10 and it's got a scratch down the crown of the driver. Whereas Callaway themselves, their rating system is very good. And I'm definitely looking at trying to get some equipment off their pre-owned site to show the value for money. That does mean, and which I'm sure they don't mind whatsoever, they're setting the benchmark for their second hand equipment, for their drivers, for the Rogue ST, for the Mavericks, for the XRs, for the Apexes, for the DCBs. And as you look through the list and pricing, it's pretty reasonable. And when the prices are that competitive from the source itself, no wonder when you're looking to buy a set of irons off Dave, off eBay, or Trevor from Gumtree, that it's gonna be marked down considerably cheaper. So with the extreme competition in the same era, the fact the manufacturer sells second-hand equipment themselves, and the whole golf club market in itself slowing down, I highly recommend an Apex or a 2019 Apex iron to go in your bag. If you like this video, you potentially might like this one up here on the left-hand side. See you guys then.